I mean, maybe when you're down here, there's no better way to film it, but you cut the entire upper torso of the skater off. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review. Today we are reviewing Dylan Jabe. I don't know much about this guy, but I know he's very popular online right now, and I had several people in the comments suggest that I review this part. Also, full disclosure, I watched this part live on Twitch last night, so I'm not gonna be able to be psychic today. It's not my first time seeing this. Rewind and what the fuck just happened? Play, starting off, window, slow-mo, falling asleep. There was two sections of this video part that I didn't really like, and I'm sure that the person editing this is just trying to make it go with the music. That was insane, a great way to start the video. A trick that you kind of don't know when it's over. He could have done the back tail and just flipped out or something, or done the back tail and not manualed, but to fakey flip at the end, Super cool banger right off the bat. Also, when it was my first time watching this, right around this section, I was like, oh, is the whole part gonna be on just this spot? Which that would have been pretty interesting too, right? Because it keeps on going. Flip back tail flip. So the slow-mo here, there's two sections in this video where they get really, really slow-mo. And there's a couple of times when the filmer gets a little too excited. But like right here, I had all that action, all that action, and then it, then it all it comes to a halt when everything becomes slow mo. The quick uh, switch flip nose manual, pretty crazy, pops out nice and stylish, and then the random slow mo. Not a big fan of the slow mo, but one thing I think we can all agree on is this guy has a really unique style. He lands everything perfectly. And a uh, funny story: someone in the Twitch chat last night, someone who doesn't skate at all, they said, "I really don't mind watching this guy skate." because it doesn't look like he ever falls. And I had to explain, yeah, so there's one sect of skateboarding that think that thinks that's bad. People that look really good on a skateboard that look like they're they're doing everything effortless. Some people watch that skateboarding and go, "It's bad. It's robotic." Okay. Cool. You want a guy doing fake skids all the time with fake knee bends? Cool. That's your side of skating. You stay over there. I'm going to stick to the side of skating where this guy looks like if he had to do that big spin again, he could probably land it five, six, seven times in one session. We got the great style on the switch heel here. We got ledges, we got stairs, we got rails, we got manuals. I mean, this guy really is the total package. And it's no surprise that he has so many followers and fans right now. Because I say, you know, skating goes in waves, not just in popularity, but also in, in people that are gonna push the sport. I saw this on Instagram. Watch the, the back foot. It doesn't move at all. And that's really impressive. I didn't notice it at first, but I read in the comments. This back foot off the fakie flip doesn't move at all right there. That's really impressive. And I, I wonder if maybe he, he did this, this line more than once. I mean, we watched Wade Disarmo last week. And it's, it's very clear that that guy's going to do the trick over and over and over again until he gets it the way that he wants it. Until he gets it to where it looks perfect. Really quick feet on the fakie flip, tail side fakie flip, <clears throat> front blunt uh, shove. We got a lot of, a lot of different spots. We get especially like the manual guys. A lot of guys that are really good at only manuals, you'll get a whole part and it's nothing but manuals. You know, and a lot of the times you get these low impact skaters doing manuals. They don't often also jump downstairs and uh, and do rails. So I think, I don't know, just overall really impressive. Might be, I mean. Might be one of the guys that, that has the shot at skater of the year. Maybe he hasn't done enough. I don't know. I don't know what argument there would be for this guy not being like in the runnings. Can anyone let me know in a comment if he was like one of those guys you could vote for or not? Because if you could, look at that old lady being scared. Why, why, how could you be scared of this guy? You just saw him switch backside flip. Switch, by the way. Somebody last night on stream had to had to remind me it was switch as if I have never skateboarded in my life. <laughs> like, I just watched the whole video part. You, you, you think I was just confused the whole time? Uh, right here, the switch flip, I felt like the filmer got kind of weird. Zooming down, then going out. Also just a weird spot to film from in general. And there's one other uh, filming mistake, or what I would call a mistake, uh, on this kickflip shifty coming up. But, man, okay, this fakey flip. Someone told me he fakey flipped Wallenberg. That sounds like 
Like, unbelievable. If I read that online, I'd be like, dude, there's no way. But now that I've seen that fakey flip, it's it's kind of believable. Right here, the kickflip shifty. I mean, maybe when you're down here, there's no better way to film it, but you cut the entire upper torso of the skater off. And I'm sure you're trying to show off just how shifty it was, which we get a great angle of that right here. But yeah, a couple of uh, small mess ups from the filmer, which if that's the only thing I can, if that's the only thing I can complain about, and I can't complain about anything this guy lands, every trick is bolts, every trick is perfect. I mean, as far as from the skater, if, if I'm only like judging the skater, not that I started this video just to judge, but there's nothing to hate on. It's a 10 out of 10. And if the only thing I can hate on is, oh, the filmer showed too much slow-mo, or he cut the skater's head off in one clip. If that's all I have to complain about, then there's no reason this can be a 10 out of 10 part. Although, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Is this a 10 out of 10 part? Would this guy be in the runnings for skater of the year? Is there any trick in this video part that he could have cleaned up? I don't know. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. We've done like 500, 600 episodes of Ninja Review. The numbered episodes are only at 300, but then we also had sponsor review, mini ramp review, flat bar review, and now we're doing all these pro reviews. It's pretty rare for me to hand out a 10 out of 10. So yeah, very impressed with this part. Can't wait to see what this guy comes out with later in the year. It's probably gonna be completely insane. I'm excited, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Sometime this week, there will also be a regular Ninja review, probably on Saturday. And I think on Friday, I'm gonna try to put out a video of every trick that I landed in 2023. It's part of my yearly, my yearly skate part, which it's not really a skate part. It's really more of like a highlight of the year. So that's gonna come out hopefully on Friday. And maybe we'll even get in another Ninja review sometime this week so make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already because we are releasing four five sometimes six videos every single week also let me know in the comments below who else you would like me to review i'm talking about like pro skaters only if you want to submit footage of you then go back click one of the numbered episodes and i explain how to submit your footage to me it's very easy i hope you guys are having a great week and i will see you tomorrow with another video kuna matata bitches in the arms.